Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my backpack. You're going to see everything that's in it and how I organize it for college. For those of you who don't know, I'm going into dental hygiene school in just two weeks. Less than two weeks from now, I will be in the program. So I wanted to show you how I organize my book bag. I've put a lot of thought into this on how it can be organized and functional. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching. Before you do, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video with me. There will be a lot more to come. Let's go ahead and get into the video now. Okay, so first of all, we need to note the Dental Hygiene Nation shirt that I have on right now. Messy bun, scrub pants, profi paste, hashtag tooth fairy. We just needed to have that moment. So here's my book bag. A lot of the stuff you have seen in the school supply haul, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Here is my book bag. It's the Adidas Prime 4, I believe. I took off the tag. If you wanna know what it is, Everything is linked in my school supply video and you will be able to see it there. So I'll link that here. So first I have this water bottle that I got from Target. Now it's a Contigo water bottle. It's like marble, it's the Contigo brand. I really liked this one because it has where you can make this like stay connected to it, you know? And the second side pocket, I was so excited when I was at Target. It matches perfectly, y'all. So I got this umbrella. It's like a compact umbrella. I'm not really sure what the brand is. I already took the tag off of it, but I was just super excited because I needed a good umbrella for school and it matches my book bag perfectly. So that is what I have in the other side pocket of my book bag. Now, right on the front here, if you can see, I have this little Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer for if I ever need that. I also keep hand sanitizer in my car, in the car door, so that I always have hand sanitizer near me. Sorry, this is so hard to maneuver because my book bag is so giant. So we are going to start, there's one, two, three, four, five pockets. So pocket number one, we're starting with this big top pocket, and this is just where I keep my books. As you can see here, I have all of my books right here. I won't show you what those are. In my orientation video, I show you what books I have. And then this is the padded laptop pocket. I'm gonna be taking notes a few different ways. I'm planning on taking it on my iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil, and then I'm also planning on possibly taking them on my laptop as well. So I'll eat, so in that laptop pocket, I'll either have my laptop or my iPad or both. My book bag is going to be very heavy, y'all. So let's go ahead and go to the second pocket. So this one right here. It's a little bit smaller than the bigger one. So this is where I'm keeping my notebooks. Now, as some of you saw in my school supply video, I got the three subject flex note binders in my school supply haul, but I went back and traded it for the five subject. So I have four or five subject notebooks and on Etsy, I will link it below if you're interested in doing this. You do not have to be this extra, quite obviously, but I got stickers to go on my notebooks. So like this says dental radiology, some of them say pre-clinic, like all of the classes that I'm taking. I got these notebooks and then I put these stickers on there so I would know exactly what goes in what. And then also I have my planner in this pocket as well. So again, in this pocket I have all four of these note binders. So I have four of these and my planner as well and it all fits pretty great. Now we'll go to this third pocket right here. So in this third pocket I am keeping a floss floss baby pouch. So I got a lot of stuff and it's mainly hygiene products. So I'll just show you everything that's in here. So in this pouch, I have Q-tips. This is a little all natural antihistamine that I take if I have like any food allergies, which I do struggle with sometimes. I have Batiste dry shampoo. I have a lint roller. I also have a hairbrush, some all natural lip balm, some oil absorbing sheets. I'm just trying to make sure that I have everything that I would need just because I'm gonna be spending so much time at school. So I do wanna have these hygiene products on hand just in case anything happens or, um, you know, I'm gonna be there a whole lot. So I definitely wanna be prepared. <laughs> I do not like being unprepared for things. So this is, this is how I do it. I also have these little pearly wipes that came in the Dental Hygiene Nation subscription box. I also have a Tide to Go pen some Pacifica underarm deodorant wipes. I love these things. Next, I just have some organic tampons, 
some hairspray, some Tylenol, which I also don't use unless it's an emergency, some tissues, bobby pins, and then last but not least, I have these two travel size native deodorants. So again, I do like keeping this little pouch in that third pocket just because it keeps everything organized instead of having it all free in my book bag, having all that stuff in one place. And if I need to like bring it to the bathroom or something like that, you know, it's just very convenient. Now we're going to look at this pocket. So in this pocket, I am going to be keeping my keys and my wallet. Now I got this from Coach. They had this sale and I got it for like $19 and it was originally like 75 or something like that. So what I'm gonna be doing is this has a hook for your keys. So I'm going to transfer, cause I have a big Michael Kors wallet right now. I'm gonna transfer all of my stuff that I can to this wallet and I'm just gonna carry this for the next two years. I can hook it onto my keys so all I have to worry about is my phone and my keys because my wallet will already be on my keys. So I just figured that this was a really easy way instead of having to transfer a giant wallet from my purse to my book bag, from my purse to my book bag, I can just use this and all I'll have to worry about in the morning is grabbing my keys. This will be attached to it and then my phone. And that is the only thing that I'm gonna be putting in this pocket because it's very short. It only goes about that far. So I'm gonna keep my keys, my wallet, and my phone right there so it's accessible. For the last pocket, I'm keeping another pouch then I also have right here some of those little tabs, sticky things. I have some gum, some white out down there as well. Now I showed you guys this pouch. I got it from TJ Maxx. I forgot to say that whenever I got it, whenever I talked about this in my school supply haul. So I did get this from TJ Maxx. And again, if you normally shop at TJ Maxx or Ross or Marshalls and things like that, they don't ever have the same thing. So what I liked about this was that it was see-through so I can see exactly what pencil I'm reaching for or what pen I am reaching for. And that's what I'm keeping in the very front of my book bag. So that is how I organize my book bag slash I also so kind of showed you what's in my book bag. I'm probably gonna do another video on this at the end of the first semester or this time next year, just so that I can um, let you know what is actually functional for me because this as of right now is just what I am thinking is going to work for me. But if I do find a better way and my what's in my book bag or how I'm organizing my book bag changes, I'll definitely make a video on that to let you guys know the easiest way that's working for me. I love these kind of videos. I think they're super fun and interesting. I guess I'm just a nosy person, but I like those kind of videos. I like routine videos and all that kind of stuff. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I cannot wait to see you on the next video. Bye guys.